Hey guys, this is Matt Winning at winningstrength.com and today we're going to go over train heavy to progress. Now, a lot of reasons why you train heavy we're going to cover today you may have never seen before unless you have read a lot of top level books, especially from overseas. But I want to let you know that you need to train heavy to progress and here's why. So the first thing that we need to understand is what does heavy training actually do and why is it important? Well, one, it internal and external motor unit coordination. So what does this mean? This means guys that train extremely heavy can not only coordinate external weights like a squat or a deadlift, the weight that you can see on the outside, but they also can coordinate the muscle groups functioning in an integral unit. So by doing a lot of isolateral bilateral movements to a heavy or as heavy as you can, what you're actually gonna start increasing is coordination, which is pretty interesting because a lot of people think that going heavy makes you just bigger because they see big guys going heavy. But in reality, it's more of a coordination drill than it is an actual hypertrophy drill. We're gonna to get to that in a minute. The next thing is we increase myofibular hypertrophy. So myofibular hypertrophy is different than hypertrophy that you guys know. So what does this mean? So in normal hypertrophy, let's say this is both the same size circle, okay? Now we have this kind of hypertrophy and we have this kind of hypertrophy. We can see that there's a lot more dots in this si same size circle than this one. This is sarcoplasmic hypertrophy. This means that the actual cell membrane has swollen most of the time due to training moderate weights in 8, 12, 15 plus reps. Myofibular hypertrophy is what you get when you train insanely heavy. And what that does is actually increases the amount of actus and myosin cross bridges that are inside the muscle cell actually helping you contract harder. So as you can see, training like a bodybuilder might get the cell bigger, but it's not changing the contractile properties inside the cell. And that is what's so important for training heavy to make more progress, okay? The next thing that I think that max effort work does that we really need to be hitting on is it reduces inhibition. So basically we have these built-in governors in our body. We've all seen it before. We go to pick something up and ah, I can't get it. There's no strain involved at all. And that is what gets reduced when you train heavy on a consistent basis. Now the big thing about training heavy on a consistent basis is reducing inhibition allows you to reach higher weights with your hypertrophy training. So if we have more contractile properties in the same cell, then in theory what we can do is get this cell to hypertrophy even more over time by doing more hypertrophy work once we have a myofibular base. So you ever notice that guys that train extremely heavy tend to hold on to their muscle tissue a lot longer than guys that train like bodybuilders. And a lot of it, I personally believe, is myofibular hypertrophy tends to be a little bit more permanent than sarcoplasmic hypertrophy, okay? So when you train heavy, you actually keep what you gain for much, much longer. So I think these three areas are some of the most important areas that you need to be doing while you're thinking about training and why you should be training heavy, whether you're male, female, it doesn't matter. This particular style of training will increase the largest bang for your buck with the least amount of hypertrophy gains if you stay away from doing hypertrophy style work. Think about it in perspective. If you are training super heavy, that means your reps are probably between one and five. The time under tension is too low to create any real muscle mass like a bodybuilder. So for you guys that are trying to hold on to weight classes or females that don't want to gain weight, this rep range is not very conducive for putting on unwanted muscle mass, but it will make you extremely strong. So I hope this helps out tremendously for you guys to start learning that maybe heavy training needs to be more into your repertoire. Now the biggest thing is with this stuff is that you can't really use ultra heavy training until your technique is perfect. And that's why I strongly suggest 
if you're intermediate or beginner or even advanced and you're not around a lot of people that are highly skilled, which in this day and age, there aren't a lot of them as far as even online or in person, definitely come on to online coaching where we can watch this and adjust it based on your needs at that time. The thing of it is, I think that everybody needs to train heavy, but the exercises that people use are going to vary dramatically based on their athletic base. So I'll see you guys at winningstrength.com and talk to you soon.